Okay, so now that we've got that work plane, we can start drawing features on the side of this car. I want to start off by drawing the wheel wells. Now to do that, I need to go to sketch again. And I can either click on those planes, which aren't really where I need them to be, or I can click on any flat surface of the car. So if I click right on the side, it's going to bring it up so I can draw on the side of the car. Now, this toy car is going to have four wheels, so two wheel wells per side. With my sketch tool, I can go down and click circle, cir center diameter circle, and I can move down and I can draw where those wheels are going to be. So let's do the front wheel first. I come up, and we just draw a wheel well a little bigger than what we think the wheel is going to be. Now, it says 17.460. If I want a specific dimension, I can just type it in here. So let's say I want to make this 18 millimeters. I click enter, and there's a circle representing the wheel well. Now I'm going to make another circle representing the back one. So I'm going to go circle diameter center again. I'm going to bring my mouse down and click where I want the circle. Now, just to show you a, a trick, I want to make this way bigger for now. I'm going to hit the escape key to get out of that circle command. And I can move over here to my sketch palette. Under your sketch palette, you've got a series of constraints. So these are things that constrain your drawing. They tie it together. I've got one at the bottom called equals. So if I click on equals, I can make any two things equal. So I click on that. I want this circle here to equal that circle there. And you'll see now that shrunken size. If I hit the escape key to get out of that constraint and say I change this dimension to 19, you'll see both wheels will change in size. Now that we've got that done, let's stop the sketch. And you can see there's the wheels drawn on the side. 